my name is Jesse Rivera, USA Lifetime Star Reporter Junior King, and today we are in um, Brazil, and it is the 4th of July, so thank you for everything the government has done, so let's get right into the interview. Um, and also today we're going to be speaking the native language in Brazil, Portuguese, and anyways, let's get right in. Então, uh, Mrs. Delay, uh, o que, que uh, você faz aqui no Brasil? Aqui no Brasil, eu no passado, vamos falar de passado, porque eu não sou uma pessoa mocinha. Eu tenho 73 anos. Então, eu já eu fui advogada, eu, 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 eu me formei na, na, numa faculdade aqui no Brasil, depois eu parti, eu parti para negócios, eu tive um, um estacionamento, depois eu tive um laboratório, eu tomei conta de um hospital e hoje... Eu não faço nada disso e hoje eu me distraio pintando quadros, hoje eu faço decoração, hoje eu faço arrumação de, de apartamentos para alugar pelo Airbnb e é isso que eu faço. E sou muito feliz de ter conseguido ter, ter, ter feito essa trajetória toda. E que que... Uh, e que que inspirou para você isso? O que, que me inspirou? Sim. Eu, depois que eu, que eu fiquei mais velha, que eu me aposentei, eu falei, não, o que, que eu vou fazer agora? Então, eu peguei e descobri que eu tinha um dom artístico, eu tive uma fábrica de móveis em Curitiba, onde eu fabricava móveis artesanais em Junco, fui sucesso, tinha uma loja da Manuel Ribas, fiquei com essa loja mais de 10 anos, depois eu acabei voltando para São Paulo, que eu tinha um pai velhinho, e eu precisava ver meu pai ficar com ele os últimos, os últimos períodos dele, última vida, última, última, última parte da vida dele, fiquei com ele e foi muito bom para mim. Depois meus filhos casaram, depois eu tive netos e a gente vai perdendo um pouco a função. Daí eu descobri que eu devia voltar a pintar. Então eu pintei quadros, eu pinto quadros, eu decoro casas, eu compro casa, arrumo e alugo pelo Airbnb. Faço um monte de coisa onde eu ganho ainda ganho dinheiro. Uhum. E uh, quantos anos que você tem? Eu tenho 73 anos. Nossa. Tenho seis netos e tenho dois filhos. Nossa, você parece não tão velho assim. Oh, muito obrigado. Você é muito gentil, meu amor. Obrigada. É isso que eu te amo. Então... Uh... Thank you uh, for watching. E obrigado pela sua tempo. And stay on the flip side and stay frosty. Thank you. Awesome. Hello, my name is Joseph Rowe. You say Lifetime Star Reporter Junior King. And today we are in Madrid, Spain. And this is Miss Martha. So we're gonna, she's Brazilian, so we're gonna be speaking in Brazilian today. Uh, então, Tia Martha, como que você se sente de Madrid? Acho uma cidade muito linda. Hello, my name is Joseph Barrow, you say Lifetime Star Reporter Junior King, and today we're with Alki Frankena again, and we're in Switzerland and Zug, and uh, the reason why I said again is because if you haven't watched our Madrid video, uh, he was in there, and yeah, le we're here with him again, and... Let's get right on to it. So, Alki, uh, how do you feel about Zug here? It's a fabulous place. If you see here the sun, the lake is just gorgeous. And a lot of people don't know about Zug because people go to the Zurich, to Luzerne, to Interlaken, all the famous places. But it is such a clean place. It's beautiful with the lake of Zug, which the camera woman can show you. When you see the mountain over there, it's the, uh, the Rigi Mountain. They have a beautiful view, and also it is very international here because we have a lot of international companies here, so a lot of international uh, people living here, a lot of Americans, Japanese, Chinese living here, This makes it a lot of interesting as well. And also because this uh, province, which are called cantons in Switzerland, is very, very good in the tax. So the tax is here one of the lowest of entire Switzerland, that's why a lot of people choose to live here. But again, the housing is very expensive here, but it's a good place to live. All right. Uh, are the people here nice, friendly? Very friendly, very rich, and very on their own. 
Nobody bothers with somebody. Nice. Very um, respectful. And there's a bunch of animals here, as you see. Hello, my name is Joseph Barrow, you say Lifetime Star Reporter, Junior King. And today we were with Alfie from Kina in Madrid, Spain. So, Alfie, can you please tell us something about Spain in Madrid? Well, Madrid is actually a fabulous city. It's the capital of Spain. It's the first time here. We arrived here yesterday. And what I have to say is that it's above my expectations because um, it's for a big city as Madrid is very clean. There's a lot to see, a lot of historical buildings spread out of the city. You can really spend here like three, four days, including shopping facilities. It's uh, horrendous here, it's great, it's nice, the weather is beautiful. It's already very, very hot here in this time of the month of the day. Uh, well, thank you, Alki, for that. Um, are there any more places in Madrid besides this huge mon monument uh, back here? Of course, you have the big, uh, the big plaza in the city, very, very, yes.